directed by Gareth Edwards and stars John David Washington, Medellin Yuna Voilis, Gemma Chan, Alyssa, uh, Alyssa and Janney, and Ken Watanabe. Tells us, and, uh, and, and amid a future war between the human race and the forces of artificial intelligence, Joshua, a hardened ex-special forces agent grieving the disappearance of his wife, is recruited to hunt down and kill the creator, or the ulcive arch, uh, architect. Of advanced AI who has developed a mysterious weapon with the power to end the war and mankind itself. Hello, you are beautiful movie lovers. My name is Louis, aka Movie Phantom, and today we're talking about The Career, which has been my most anticipated movie of well, the entire year, aside from Across the Spider Verse and Did Part 2, which, um. Yeah, that happened. <laughs> Uh, but genuinely, for uh, aside from that, this has been my most anticipated movie of the entire year since that trailer dropped, and I was very excited to see this movie. Not mentioned, Gareth Edwards hasn't directed a movie in seven years with Rogue One, which I recently rewatched and forgot how great that movie actually was, and. How genuinely amazing it is. So, I got even more excited for this. And now, having seen it last night in a big IMAX screen. Well, not the biggest, but still. I gotta say. I wasn't disappointed. I got what I wanted. A satisfying movie. Emotional payoffs. And just, overall, a really great movie. Spoiler alert for the, I guess, um, the, uh, um. Yeah, and, but, I was disappointed on a tiny level, but not much to ruin the movie. First off, I just gotta get this out of the way, because this has been in every review, of course. This is like Avatar The Way of Water. It is visually stunning. On a visual level, it looks so good. All of it just feels so real, it puts you in this world, and the designs of everything to ships, weapons, and even the robots themselves are so great. They look amazing, all of it. The lighting itself with that also adds to it with some beautiful shots with it. The framing is great, and also Nomad, which admittedly I'm gonna try and not spoil a lot. Of that, um, which is the ship you've seen a lot in when in the marketing. And may I just say, the design of the ship itself is really great. Especially when we learn more about it. And it, it just looks great. The movie itself opens on a really high note. And the visuals itself really adds to it. We open with a newsreel, per se, with a bunch of old footage with it in this universe. And it really adds to the level on... It makes you want to think, what is going on? What is happening? I want to see more of this. And also with the acting itself, this, I will say, I was a little disappointed with some stuff. I do prefer John David Washington's performance in Tenet over this, because I feel like he had more to do, or, well, not really, but, like, more in that movie, per se, to make uh, his performance maybe a little better. But still, overall, he is great. Also, Madeline Yuna Voles, uh, I'm, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, who plays the robot called Alfie, who, in my opinion, is my personal favorite character in this movie. Their dynamic, I will say, was a little disappointed with that, but admittedly, it is still great. You can feel their relationship, and it really works, especially when you go deeper in the movie and when it ends, and it just really works, and when it's an emotional scene with them, you really do feel it because of their relationship, and it really does work, and also her performance herself, in my opinion, gets actually the best performance in the entire movie. She really has a great, um, charismatic um, performance in this, or whatever you want to call it, if 
you will, I mean, genuinely. Uh, I loved how naive, but also smart she was, and especially when she, and especially when the movie, uh, gets near the end, she definitely becomes more of a better character. And I also loved her design for some reason, I, I don't know why, but, like, I, I, it just kind of works also. And not to mention with other robots itself, like I said, Luke, great. Especially one where it's in a certain scene, which I'm not going to spoil, but I just love the simplicity of the, of the design with also how dangerous it can be also. And I just really like that about this movie. Also on a musical level, it is just also masterful. The score is by Hans Zimmer, and you can really feel a lot of Dune elements with it. It kind of reminds me of a Christopher Nolan score that Hans Zimmer would do, as well as his score for Dune. And it just is perfect. In moments of intensity or anything like that, it really works. No wonder he's known as one of the best composers of all time. I mean, genuinely, he is amazing. <laughs> I mean, he is so good at this. I mean, genuinely, this is easily one of his best scores, rivaling stuff like The Lion King, Man of Steel, Interstellar, or anything like that, if you will. I mean, genuinely, it's an amazing score, in my opinion. If I'd say issues per se, I kind of wish the movie itself was a little longer, like 20 minutes longer, admittedly, mainly for the ending. While I was satisfied with the ending we got, I did kind of wish there was a little more to it, but still, I am happy with what we got. Also, I will admit, with uh, Joshua, the character John David Washington plays, I wish we got a little more with his backstory. We do open up the film film with it, and it really does work, um, but admittedly, it does feel a little undeveloped, even though from what I thought, from what we got, I thought was pretty great itself. Um, yeah, genuinely. Uh, I mean, genuinely. I don't really have a lot I want to say, but overall, I would recommend The Creator. Whether you're a sci-fi fan like me, I think you may like this movie. But I recommend seeing this on IMAX, because, I mean, it looks great on an IMAX screen. I mean, genuinely, it just perfectly fits uh, what um, everyone was going for. It just really worked. And also, it's nice supporting big-budget sci-fi, or at least a Hollywood movie that is original, per se. Uh, but yeah, overall, I really did enjoy The Creator, and I really hope this does well at the box office, mainly because I don't want to wait another seven years for Gareth Edwards' next movie. Please make this movie do well. <laughs> uh, but yeah, those are my thoughts on the creators right now. Uh, I may, you know, check out a little more. But overall, I really did enjoy the creator. I'd recommend it. So yeah, I give the creator an A minus. So, those are my thoughts on the career, like I said. What are your thoughts on the career? Did you love it? Hate it? Let's agree, disagree down below in the comments. Come and tell me. Yeah, my, I have, uh, two reviews that may come today, maybe. Uh, first, maybe the new Netflix film, uh, Nowhere. And also, there will be Flora and Sun, which is on Apple+. Plus. And I'll try and get around to doing Cassandra. I know. I'll try. And I'm probably not. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's it right now. Yeah. Stay awesome.